Hi and welcome to the video training of Node.js. In today's video training we will be looking at how to access latest news using Node.js. We will be using a public API called newsapi.com and we will fetch data from there and render it in the browser. Requirements for this Node.js application is npm should be installed on your machine. npm is basically a node package manager. And the second thing you need is Node.js installed on your computer. The third and last thing is the Express NPM module installed on your computer. Ok, let's get started. Uh, one more thing you need to uh, get the API key from the newsapi.org website. So let's go to the terminal and start our project. So first projects node and I'm going to create a folder called news API project changing the permissions news API project CD news API project ok npm init Now we need to install Express npm install Express Ok Express is installed Now we can start our program which is index.js And here we are going to create a variable for Express which requires the Express library in the second line we are going to create an object of uh, express module so we have the web server up and running ok then we have the server port which I am going to set to 4000 uh, then we have the API URL ok uh, we will get ok and the API URL is this is my API key and let's paste it here my API key ok and API URL let's see from the document it's https use api.org forward slash v2 forward slash everything question mark the news we are going to fetch is about tesla and the date of the articles i'm going to set is from 2021 august 17th and sort by it was published at and API key equals here I'm going to go get my API key ok that's it so this comes after this and now we can start our program app dot listen server code anonymous function inside the listen function here we are going to say console.log server started on port whatever the port is server port ok so now we are going to define the landing page app.get the landing page our website function which is the express request object and express response object ok this is our landing page uh, right and here we are going to use the fetch uh, sorry the request uh, function and we didn't uh, required 
request we need the, that as well the request module this is built in into node.js so you don't need to install it install it separately so we have the request object now so we can start the request and request needs some parameters first of all the URI we are going to hit which is API URL the second thing it needs is the method which is get and then we can start on the body of the request just which will go into function error response and body console.log okay now we need to convert the data into json so json.parse body turned and now we need to create a variable string variable which says final uh, response and we need to start the table okay so let's give some styles CSS styles to our table and this can be done by the style tag HTML tag table keyhead th and here we have the background color on hash a7 b6 fc and we have a simple color which is hash 020801 ok this is the end of our style tag and now we have the table he had okay the first thing is thumbnail and just copy this here and so after thumbnail we have title then we have description after that we have news URL and we have platform we don't have actually platform we have uh, author and we have publish at and then we have content This is our T head ended here, right here. Okay. Now we are going to start work on our for loop, which is. in data and before that we assign data equals data dot articles because we want the articles part of the JSON response we don't need whole array actually final response concatenation equals And I 
and setting the style width to 200 pixels and here it ends then we have title sign here and after the for loop you say find the small screen head close the e body close the table the HTML documents close the HTML that's it and at the end we send back the, to the user final response and that should be it now the next step is to basically run it and see it if it actually works or not let's get the screen ok no index.js ok it says there is an error unexpected token json dot pass body let's see json dot pass yeah this will be semicolon Okay, let's start it again. Now we have an issue with line 84 missing arg. Okay. Now should be fine. Yeah, server started on port 4000. Now let's go to the browser and open localhost colon 4000. Says get is undefined. This the get is not defined. Okay. Okay, we need to mention get as a string. We forgot that that's why this happened. Okay, restart it again and this time it should work. Yeah, it's working. So we have the thumbnail of the news article, we have the title, we have the description, we have the news URL, uh, author, published this. Okay. Title, description, use URL. Okay, think the columns are a bit messed up here. Just 
description. This is, I think, okay, we missed the URL here to the news article. So it comes after description, basically. Okay, let's stop the server and start it again. Yeah, this time we have the news URLs as well. The source of the news basically. So, what we need to actually do is make it a hyperlink. And open it in another new tab. And let's copy this from here, put it here and close hyperlink save the file and break refresh see the now we can see the source of the news as well so this is the fox news if we go there takes us to the fox news website the exact news so these all news are about tesla because we passed Tesla in the query string right here. Um, yeah, here it is. If I type in Microsoft, save it and run our server again. Let's see if there are some news. Microsoft. Yeah, there are some news about Microsoft. So let's see. So using this application, small application you can basically create your own uh, news application either a web application or a mobile application it's up to you so this is pretty handy basically okay thanks for watching this video please do subscribe to my channel if you liked this video you can contact me for help or programming advice or suggestions by commenting this youtube video or at my email address the source code of this video you uh, this video training is available on my github repository I'll share the link of the github repository in the YouTube description. Thank you very much. Bye